This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Bouncy Text. As always I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution and the frame rate of 60 to make the animation buttery smooth. Let's move to the first step. Go to the tools and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen and start typing your text. Eject from the typing box, and then align your text into the center. Now open this text layer by clicking here. Then go to the animate, and choose the scale. In this scale option, change the scale value to 0%. It will make your text smaller, and you won't be able to see it. Now click on the add button, then go to the selector, and choose the expression. Yes, we are going to add an expression for animating our text. You can delete this range selector 1, because we don't need it. Now open this expression selector 1 option, and then open this amount option. In this expression amount, we are going to replace this expression with our own. I have already copied the expression, so just select this, and then paste the new expression here. By the way, you can download this expression from the link in the description, and also from the comment section below. Play your animation. And this is how it looks now. You can end this video right here, if you were looking for this animation only. In case you want to tweak up some settings, then watch this tutorial till the end. In some cases, this expression might not work. In case you are facing the same, then just go to the file, and down at the bottom, we have this project settings option, click on it, and a new window will appear. Just go to the expression tab, and switch between these expression engine options. In my case, this expression is working fine in both engines. So I am leaving it on the JavaScript. Hit OK, and this animation will work fine. Now, if you see, there are no keyframes here for managing the duration of this animation. We need to change a few values in the expression to make it work as we want. Now, this window space isn't enough for editing this expression, so we have to make it full screen. For making this window full screen, just press the wave key on your keyboard, which is placed left to the number one key. Now we have plenty of space for editing this expression. Now, there are only a few values we need to change for controlling this expression. The first one is the frequency. Let's change the frequency value to 5, and see what changes it has made. Again press the wave key, to switch back to the normal size window. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. I can see a minor change here. Now for making the animation duration a little faster, just go to the expression area, and change the max delay value to a lower number. I am using the value of 0.5. And then change the duration value to 0.05. Eject from the expression box, and this is how it looks now. Cool. You can play with the values for making a different look. Let's add a motion blur to the text. In case this switch tab is not available here, then press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is figuring out why YouTube removed the dislike counts, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose switches. Now turn on the motion blur for your text layer, if required activate it from this option. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, 
and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.